Hey everyone, thanks for joining us in this video. We are painting these cute, colorful gingerbread. This one's mine, this one's my mom's, <laughs> and yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. And like and subscribe and tell us which one you like the best in the comments. <laughs> Bye! To start our gingerbread, we need to go over the our gingerbread man. We need to go over the uh, materials. It could be a woman too. It could be, yeah. So we've got the five by seven Strathmore watercolor paper. That's 140 pounds and 100% cotton. We also have some tape. Yeah. And we also have watercolor paint, um, which is. Um, really helpful, and we also have paper towels in already. Yeah, well, not and yet. We so we got some water, and we got some paint brushes. Yep, and they're size six round. Size and six round, and we also have some pencils to first draw with, but then we're gonna um overlap it, with, like overdo it with um some paint or with a pen. Probably. Paint. Okay. okay. So. Um, and then we've got the kneaded eraser too. Yeah, need and that. this kneaded eraser you can break it apart, and also you can twist it. You can do everything with it. You can even fold it. <laughs> All okay. right. So let yeah. So let's start. Let's um, get into it. Okay. So we so have to draw we'll start lightly. With the head. Okay. We have to start lightly. So. Move your hand, arms so that they can see. Yep. Okay, so lightly. Light. Yep. Draw it later. Yep. There you go, that's better. Good. So a nice big circle. I did a nice big circle for the head. And then just join the arms and the body and it goes down into the legs. That's cute. Okay, so now we're gonna wait. I think I did a little too big. I'm gonna say I'm gonna fix it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. So now we're gonna draw the eyes. Circles for eyes. Then we're gonna draw a big nose. That's a huge nose. I'm gonna make it kind of like I'm gonna do circle. <laughs> circle. Um, like little rocks. Looks pretty good. Yeah.
start coloring. Okay, so, so we need to make a nice brown color. So there's some brown already in here. We need to make it a little lighter. Okay, so let's do... Let's, I think you need gold. Yeah. yeah. Now it's looking gingery. Now it's looking gingery. So we're just at, um, there was some brown in there. We added just a little bit more brown, and now we're adding mm. uh, like a nice tan type color. Do you want it like just like that, or do you want it lighter? I think a little lighter. We're getting a little bit of the purple in there. Because I didn't clean the palette before. Looking good. Mm, okay, now that should be enough. Okay. Now let's... So, yeah, wet your brush too. And I'm just going to paint over everything and then I'm going to do the, the different color for the eyes. Paint over everything? That. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So like even the eyes? Yeah, because I'm going to do them a different color. I'm not going to do them white. Okay. It's just easier. You can use masking fluid for the eyes, but we don't have it out, and it would take a little bit for it to dry. Why is it running out? Get more water on your brush. Soak it up. There you go. Ooh. See? You gotta soak it. Let the brush absorb it all. So you gotta keep your head down. Yep. For this to dry now, so once you get it, yep, got more in the back of it. Um, more, uh, what am I saying? We gotta wait for this to dry and then we can put on the um, color, the other color. dry. Now we are going to add some colors. Okay, okay so, so how about let's do? add a little red for the eyes. Okay, red for the eyes. Um, and also for the nose. Okay, so you got a red red or you got like a pink red um, that you can choose from? Red red. So that's this one here. Just Wait, can you in. take it off? I don't want it to be too scary. <laughs> so, rinse off your brush. Rinse it off really good. And then dab it. Yep, so get all the... Yep, and then just wipe it up. Pick up. Okay, pick up. 
And now you can use your, your paper towel to actually stamp up. Like that. Mm. Okay. Thank you. You're so welcome. now I'm going to do... Actually, I, I want to do some... You can do black. You can do gold. I'm gonna silver. Do, I'm going to do... Blue. Okay. Any blue. I think I'm going to start with this blue. Okay. I want to see... Blue. This one's a nice blue. I'm going to make mine colorful again. It's mm. going to be a rainbow gingerbread. It's like a ginger. What color should it? Maybe yellow. I know. What? Oh, I took it. And it's my paper towel. Sorry. Now black. Where the cool? Okay. Oh, up, up, up. So. different colors for the bottoms. Hey, mm -hmm. Can you help me release this? This was a little too much. Which? This and this because I wanted to, this to be blue. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. I just need those to be flattened a little bit. There you go. Good. I did that one. I like that one. Okay, good. What color are you going to use for the bottoms? Green too. Do you want to go over the nose with? Okay, we can see if it'll work. Which way? I want it off. I want this off. You can't. <laughs> Once it dries, you can't go back. So you want orange? Yeah. Ooh. Are you going to do your pom-poms? No, they're going to stay. Okay. Yeah, I want to do a Christmas tree too. Okay. So, now we have to take the tape off. So you take the tape off slowly and you pull away from the paper. Right? I know you taught me. Good. 
like this. Yep. There's our art. Our fun, colorful gingerbread men. And we are um, going to do a second one, which is going to be a gingerbread Christmas tree. <laughs> Ginger Christmas tree. Yeah, we'll see. That's for sure. Okay, so I hope you liked it. Um, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.